a fan hammer. This what's left of it. It's the first iteration, or second iteration of my first combat robot. Taking around two months since the very start concept designs. And I placed third in the last UGA combat robotics tournament. And I have like 11 robots there, so did pretty well for my first combat robot. Here's the, well, the first version. Didn't really work because I didn't have space in the back for the electronics, so it was, it, everything, everything went to shit when I, when I tried to use it. This version pretty, did pretty well until you know, all this happened when I went against some pretty badass boss. But basically, all I have here is two finger tech planetary gear motors come right there. Attach these uh, hubs. Uh, go to these finger tech foam wheels. I like using these because they're cheap, easy to use. Then I have a 3S Ravonic, an Infinity Alien, AC battery in here. Plug it into this just cause power distribution board. And then, the cool thing about design is these rubber bumpers out of the back. Inside, so they're not there anymore. <laughs> and the button motor is the RDY5536 by Just Cause Robotics. Here, which is the main problem during the tournament. I don't know how I placed third because my fucking hub motor did not spin up. I'm assuming, or it, it spin up, but it, it just died after like 20 seconds. I'm assuming it's the CSCs heating up or something, and then something internally just sets off like a safety feature and just shuts the hub motor off. Because if, if I stop the hub motor for a little bit, it worked after like a minute of pause, and then it would die out again. So I'm assuming this thing just heated up too much. It's, it's not, it's not enough for this hub motor. And then I have these two finger tech uh, ESCs that I use for the drive motors. They're really good because they're super tiny. They have an onboard DC. They just cost a little bit more than you think. And then I have this receiver. So everything would go in here. Plug in the power distribution board. And then I have this sandwich of polycarbonate plates on top. I'll show the CAD design. So here's the CAD model. You can see it's all destroyed. Exploded. This is what it looks like when it's not damaged. I'm gonna put it back together here. It's got these hubs that the motor screw into through it there. And then I screw them through the top. Through there. Through the top and to the bottom where I got some heat set inserts. And then I have this internal spall liner made of TPU, which actually helped a lot because the internals didn't spill out. This thing's not really gonna get touched. It's about a millimeter and a half thick. And then you have these bumpers. Coolest part of design. They screw in to the, the chassis. <laughs> with some three millimeter heat set inserts. So put them all on there. And then I have these front bumpers. I screw in there through here to the plate. Into here, I got some heat set inserts there too. And then the cool part is for the top and bottom plate. I drill those holes myself using these templates that I printed. Saved me about 40 bucks just doing that. Basically, I just put the plate into the template and I drew all the holes through there. 